Conveying messages from up above down to the earth below. That can be quite a tall order. And it can take forever. Sometimes those messages from on high can be painful. Or they can come across as complete gobbledygook. OK, so making a connection between Earth and Mars is a particularly tricky thing to do. But how about up in an aeroplane? It's been possible for a while to connect to the Internet on long-haul flights. And that tends to work like this. There's a transmitter on the plane which sends the data to a satellite. This passes the signal on to a ground station. From there, the bits and bytes are transmitted to the various stations and they finally reach the receiver. The situation is completely different on short and medium haul flights around Europe, where until recently there has seldom been any internet service on board. But now that looks set to change. The dream of surfing in LTE speed on board all European flights is about to become reality. The plan is to supplement the satellite service with a Europe-wide mobile network on the ground. Aircraft will be served by 300 LTE base stations. Conventional LTE stations have a range of over 10 kilometers. The new base stations should be able to cover 80 kilometers and more. This makes the new LTE network an efficient addition to the mobile satellite service. As a result, planes can have a permanent internet connection, not just at high speed, but thanks to the satellites, even when they are flying over the sea. Plus, they can benefit from modern LTE broadband technology. There's a lot to do, but it's really necessary. After all, European airspace is phenomenally busy. 22,500 flights a day and over 500 million passengers on average each year. Most, and that's over 90%, take their devices, like smartphones and tablets, on board with them. What a lot of data traffic! This can only be managed by installing a new, Europe-wide terrestrial LTE network designed to support the satellites.